Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 28, and this is war number 10. And as you can see, we're going up against an alliance. Um, I'm going to call them HBT because I do not know how to uh, say that name. It might be HBT. Um, but in any case, let's take a look at what they have in store for us on our paths. All right. All right, so there's no defender on that first node, goody goody. Uh, on the next node, we've got uh, Stealth Suit Spidey. Shouldn't be uh, a problem. Tigra, she can be very annoying, especially on that node um, because of this Strike Counter Fury. Should take us out in one attack. One special, you're done. So that can be interesting. We'll, we'll see how we handle that one. Um, I believe we are going to need to boost, but we'll see. The middle, um, I don't usually clear the middle. Someone with Human Torch will probably uh, take down that mojo. Uh, and we've got Magneto. Hmm. Torch. Um, one, of, one of the guys uh, that I do the left side with usually brings Torch, so that might be... Uh, who they go up against uh, that Magneto with. All right, and then we've got Hulkbuster, who I've done before on that uh, node. And we've got Korg. Now, that's interesting. Um, he can be annoying, but Claire can take him on that node. Uh, just have to avoid hitting into his block, which you normally want to do when you're fighting him. So I, I tend to bait out heavy attacks to get my ins uh, and uh, bait out his specials and things like that. So that shouldn't be a problem. And then you got Sasquatch. Um, Warlock can do that. He can stop his healing and take him down. So uh, if necessary, I can take him with Warlock. All right. Ooh, my goodness. Don't see him very often. So Weapon X down there, Mini Boss Island, and a Bishop on that one. So this is, this is going to be tough. Um, not even sure who I would bring in for him. Uh, probably if, if asked, uh, Nick Fury, but usually we have somebody that'll bring in a counter for all three of them. Uh, so we don't have to usually deal with it. Um, so what ends up happening is once we get to mini boss Island, uh, I wait for direction. And if someone feels confident and they have a good option, they go, if not, um, I might ask, hey, you know, I can probably do this fight unless someone has a better counter. Uh, and, and we go like that. So up the left side, we've got Warlock. Claire can uh, handle that one. Uh, Terax. Claire could handle that one as well. And that Bishop. Don't really want to deal with Bishop. Um I don't know if I have anyone in particular that would be good to face Bishop. So someone may have to bring a counter for that. All right. So we'll be back uh, in a little bit here. And I'll get the fighting started. All right. So I'm going in with my standard team of Black Widow Clairvoyant, Warlock, and Nick Fury. But I have a treat for you guys. A very rare occurrence. I actually got to fight the boss. Don't often get to fight the boss, okay? But first, let's get through these uh, paths. So as you saw earlier, no one on that first node, but now I've got to fight Stealth Suit Spidey. I don't like fighting him. I know that I have to bait out one evade since I don't go in with anyone that can stop the evade. And I often get caught by his animations. It's weird, but, you know, I'll attack and then try to evade right away, knowing that he's probably going to evade. And he'll suddenly become really aggressive and just keep coming at me. And I'll try to evade and it just will not work. And I'll start getting hit by all of his hits. It's, it's annoying. OK, so right there, that worked out perfectly. That's what I often do or at least attempt to do every time I fight him. Now we don't have to worry about it. It's on cooldown. We don't have to worry about any of his evades. 
And if we can finish them off quickly, we never have to. That ticked me off. I fired off my special and it was just not enough to take him out, which meant I take recoil damage because I run suicides. But it's Black Widow Clairvoyant and I'm saying I can heal up, you know? Now we're gonna fight Tigra. Now I just fought Tigra three different times in that little challenge that we had from Shong Chi. And I didn't really wanna see her again. And on this node, you can really get wrecked. The longer the fight goes on, the more dangerous it is. So you wanna take her out quickly. So uh, I went in, you saw I boosted up. I went in with um, Nick Fury. And my goal here is to just go ham. Get her down as fast as possible. I have, you know, real Nick Fury still waiting. So let's just do what we can and boom. It went very nicely, very smoothly, very easy, okay? Um, it could turn out worse than that, but this one, that was a, a, a win in our book, okay? So now we are gonna go on to section two and let me see, who did I fight on that node? Yeah. Um, it was uh, Hulkbuster. And Hulkbuster, Black Widow Clairvoyant, she is just beast on this node. Um, there's very few defenders that I have faced here where I didn't want to use Claire. But for the most part, Claire just rocks anybody that's on this node. Now, Hulkbuster... He will put that shock on you, which is annoying. Um, but Claire, I can at least heal up, okay? So now I'm in Curse of, uh, what is it, Hellfire. And I want to hit him with a special two while in that mode, do that big boy damage, okay? Now, you know, what, what I should have done because I'm running suicides is wait till I got him a little bit lower and then fire it off because I want to finish the fight with my special. But since I know she can heal up, I usually am not that worried about that, okay? Now, we get to fight Korg. And on this node, he would normally be annoying, but the way that I fight him, I don't hit into his block if I can help it at all. So as you see here, I just bait out his attacks, evade his specials, <clears throat> punish him. But then you see here, see how I'm blocking? I just block. Now that his rock shield is down, I can parry him. All right. <clears throat> but that's pretty much how I fight him. I do not try to hit into his block for any reason. So if you're used to fighting Korg, you're not going to be fighting him hitting into his block anyway. And if you're better than I am and you know how to light intercept him, then you're golden. Every time I try to light intercept him, it does not go well. But that went well. Down goes Korg. All right. Now, you remember uh, I was looking at that. Um, I think it was a Mr. Sinister. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get Mr. Sinister. I didn't get a chance to. All right. So now I'm on Mini Boss Island waiting for direction. Uh, others had better options all around, uh, so they cleared it. However, the question was asked, which one of us? It was me and another person that had warlocks, and they were full. And you want to go in uh, first with robots because they don't give any charges. So even if I lose, they don't have to worry about him having four charges. So you want me with the Warlock to go first. You want him with the Warlock to go first. Uh, if anyone has Ultron, you want them to go first, you know. Um, but this, I think, was a, a very interesting one. So I'm boosting up, you know, and I have my plan. Now, I've faced uh, Apocalypse before 
with Warlock. And I'm thinking now the plan is I will block his specials because I can't rely in, in AQ and AW. It's very um, sporadic. The, the, the timing is not consistent. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to block and evade out at the end to minimize the damage. <clears throat> now he's stun immune. So I'm just baiting things out. Now what made this fight easier is that they were running suicides. You see how he keeps taking recoil damage? That made this fight so much easier. But look at our health bars. Even with me pounded into him, all uh, boosted up, and him taking recoil damage, our health bars were neck and neck for a little bit. All right, fired off a special three. And now I plan if my health bar gets really low, I do plan to try and um, evade his special because I can evade his specials, but it's it's not consistent. The timing doesn't seem to be very consistent. You know, the timing in AQ, the timing in AW, the timing when I'm in arena, it just seems to be very odd. Now, I'm also running suicides and every time I fire off that special one, but I saw that his health was was really low. And I'm like, yeah, I got this. I got this. So I knew I had some health to play around with. And here we go. Oh, you done messed up now. And he's down. So I got the solo. Yes, he was running suicide. So that made the solo much easier. But it gave me a little bit more confidence in fighting Apocalypse. Because even without the suicides, I know that I'd be able to get him either... A one shot or almost down, depending on the rank and the health, you know, of the apocalypse. But we'll be back in a short moment and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. Uh, we just played terribly. We had over double their deaths. And I don't know how many of those deaths actually counted. And I know there's still some uh, issues with the controls that are affecting uh, my alliance, but I believe we could have done so much better. Some of the deaths were avoidable, uh, but they did well. Okay, so congrats, HBT. You guys fought a good war. But with that, pretty sure we are no longer eligible for Platinum 3. Now, there is a band wave coming. They are focusing on alliances that are sharing um, accounts in war, specifically. And it's possible that a lot of alliances could get banned or docked or something like that, and we can get higher. But there's also that fear that our alliance could get docked, because I wouldn't know who was sharing. We just merged with, um, you know, a, a large group of people. And if any of them are sharing among themselves, who knows? So it's a nerve wracking time because you don't know who else is going to uh, get caught sharing accounts in war. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.